Wendy's are cancelled. So what do you do when things are cancelled? Uh, we look for memes and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So yeah, let's start with this one. Uh, I'm actually on this group called a group where we pretend to be YP Bings. I love that group. I absolutely love that group. That group is like the best when it comes to memes, especially when it comes to PMDs because we all know that like 20% of PMD writers are all YPs and like that 20% is the reason why PMDs are being cancelled right now. So let's start. So this one by Samuel Chow, Cho, Julius Ho, sorry. Uh, no one. Singapore dubbing will now have their power of their e-scooter stripped away. It's uh, reminiscent of um, Black Panther, but yeah, totally. Like, yeah. Yeah, I can understand like the, the significance behind stripping a YP of their power, especially when they're swimming by at like 30 km per hour blasting their money out in the middle of the night. Yeah, I, I live in like a quiet corner of Changi, and that happens as well. So let's, uh, let's go. Next one. When you grab food every day but still KBKB online to get PMDs bad, why would you do that? Well, I mean, it's true. Why would you do that? Uh, I order quite a fair bit of food panda and grab food, and I have seen like you know errant riders zooming by, blasting their manya on JBL speakers and stuff. But you know, they're not that much of a nuisance. I mean, like I've seen the cases where they hit people, they get in car accidents, and I have uh, when I drive, when I drove, I've also seen a bunch of like uh, e-scooters zooming past me on the highway, and I'm just like. Why would you do that? But yeah, you know, I mean, if you order grab food, you know that this is going to affect you. So why would you do something like that? Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Uh, E-scooters permanently banned from public food parks starting November fifth, twenty nineteen. And then look at the other ways we can deliver food. Heelys. Oh my god, you should bring those back. You know, those are like the bomb from the nineties. Roller skates. Yeah, I guess roller skates could work, but it's like the same issue with like bikes and roller skates aren't that easy to use. Naruto running, yeah. Apparently now we've been proven that Naruto running is slower than normal running, and an Olympic athlete proved that. Ama trolley. <laughs> Do you remember like when the Amas would come up to this is this is a singer, very very singer running thing when Amas would actually come up all the way to your door and ask you if you want to buy a coat. Yakult aunties are the best and just basically eating your food Right I think this is quite relatable because like <laughs> It's just like I, I constantly say you know uh, Whenever Abings are all like YPs are on the street and like like when I say Abings and YPs I don't mean every single Abing and every single YP but let, Let's just say YP for the sake of it the ones who are like zooming past, not giving a crap about anyone on the street and then they're just blasting their JBLs, it's like right here, you can see the JBLs right there I'm not gonna talk about the Winstons, because uh, <laughs> we're not supposed to but yeah, this I think this is a really, really good meme because especially like now that their PMDs are taken away, they have no choice but to like take the bus again but I don't know, a lot of them actually, well they used to Borrow the, the the bikes, like more bikes and stuff, and maybe I might see them come back. There's still like one or two companies left in Singapore, anyways. Garmin, Benz e-scooters, delivery riders. So yeah, uh, okay, those th that's a mobility scooter. That actually is not banned. Uh, PMPs are banned but not mobility scooters because that's like for disabled people but I have seen like some modifications for mobility scooters like they can go like super fast I'm talking like at least 30 to 40 km per hour so all you gotta do is like, strap on your seatbelt and go like and then you can see you got more space for your JBL speaker now. this is exactly what I was talking about earlier um, yeah, if you take away the PMDs, they're just gonna go back to using bikes and bicycles. And like um I I don't think I was around because I moved back in Singapore. I moved back in Singapore only after like 2000, so I didn't really see a lot of these like POPO things. But it's like 
I mean, it reminds me of like the Japanese, you know, where they have those gangsters. They, they're like Yakuza, I think they're this to be Yankees, and they have their bikes, and they're like, with like really elaborate lights and shit. So. Okay, this, is, this one is just sad. This is just a sad meme right there. Um, food Panda, Food Panda. I mean, like, uh, okay, so a little history, like when I was in secondary school, I used to work for McDonald's and I did never did delivery because I don't have a bike license and at that time, if you want to do delivery, you had to have a bike. But sometimes like, if like your outlet is out of riders, you have yourself as a cashier have to go and deliver the food if there's like not a lot of people in the store and like they have no time. So this reminds me of like when we used to have to take cabs and actually you no, know, there are even instances where we have to take buses because um <laughs> let's just not go there. But anyways, we will take transport and then we'll bring the food and walk all the way to the house, knock on the door and be like, oh here's your delivery. But like like it's a very rare case, it doesn't really happen very often. Uh so like for those people who are going to like uh tell this to McDonald's. Uh, no, it doesn't happen very often and no, I'm not gonna tell you what outlet I work for. <laughs> okay, I think this meme is like super relevant. Where you, you can see like Thomas Wayne looking at Arthur Fang and like, you think this is funny? Why are people riding, on P riding their PMB on road curves? Like, it, it's a real thing because essentially it's, you, you have essentially a lot of PMBs right now. Like, as of November 5th, you can't, cannot ride PMBs on the road. You can't write PMDs on the grass, you can't write PMDs on the footpath. So PMDs essentially cannot be on the road, even though they say it's not a complete ban. But I don't know. There are a lot of ways to get past this. Okay, so <laughs> I love, I love, I absolutely love Stephen Lim. So e-scooters to be banned from Singapore's footpath starting November 5th. I mean, how to top up my bow base now? How to feel the cool wind in my hand now? How to entertain the neighborhood with my mind out at night? See what me hold. Quiet in PND. It's a real thing. Like I am not kidding. I have actually seen like a lot of people, a lot of young, younger people complaining on Instagram, on Facebook. Sadly not on TikTok though. I, I, I swear, if, if someone actually did this like whole like how to top up my baby now thing on TikTok, I, I, that would work. Especially if like, you know, they, they dress up like Steven Lim. Steven Lim Coco. Oh, this one is a video and it's from Mothership SG, so it's pretty good. You know, Mothership has like quality memes all the time. Block 63, block 63, block 63 way. They're using like Death Stranding, which is, I guess, a little app because a lot of Death Stranding is just new delivering shit. 03126, 03126. Oh, now it is an order of a whole kampong. E-scooters to be banned from Singapore's food house starting November 5th. But you just asked me to trade in my non UL2272 e-scooter to a UL2272 e-scooter. And you can see like the lady shopping with the cat meme. Uh, that is kind of true because like uh, there's been like a big big deal about it back here like here in Singapore because mm, I think less than a month ago they just changed regulation that you have to have a compliant e-scooter and then pay a registration fee and we're talking like hundreds of thousands of people or at least tens of thousands of people paying a like, $20 registration fee just to have it banned. Like what the hell right? Like, you pay a fee to register your e-scooter, and now it's bad. Well played. Well played. Okay, last half of it. When government bans e-scooters from all footpaths from November 5th, right e-scooter on grass page instead. Actually, this, this is an actual real thing, and you can see like right here, a uh, new poster poster on the wall should be is thinking outside the box. But we've actually just like uh, this. This this meme is a little old. This is, like from a week ago. Uh, but like, uh, if I'm not wrong, any in and parts already said that if you ride on the grass, it's like illegal as well. So I think like legally, since you can't ride on the footpath, you can't ride on the road, you can't ride on the grass. 
the rope curb thing is a little dangerous. But you see like the drain there. Maybe you can ride there. I don't know. I don't know. Don't take don't take don't take my word as like legal advice. It is not. Like I am now like stating myself, I am not telling you to ride on the sewage area of the road. Because technically if I'm not wrong, that's also part of the road. Okay, and that's it for today's video. Uh, yeah, this content is a little lazy and like the reason why I decided to do something like uh, reading memes, like my favorite YouTubers, is actually because like uh, I, I really want to produce a lot more content and I really want to practice being on camera. Uh, trying to find more creative avenues of what I would like to do and it's I mean, I, mean, I, I enjoy, enjoy making music, music. I, enjoy, I enjoy uh DJing and parties, I enjoy doing mixes, I enjoy drinking and parting my friends, friends but, but like, like creatively, creatively I feel like I've not actually spent, spent a lot of time nourishing my soul in the things that I enjoy. Which is why I like my YouTube, YouTube channel and including my Instagram if you're seeing this on Instagram and YouTube. Because that's mainly where these videos go. Um it's starting to have vlogs, you're starting to see more like uh Content that is a little different and a little bit more multifaceted. So I have like a visual essay. I got one coming out on Manyao, and I also have one coming out on like other DJ things because like mainly I want to focus on things that I don't. Not not things that I don't. But there will be vlogs, and I'm definitely vlogging for this shit. So if you guys are going on this shit, I will see you there. That's a promise. Bye. Bye. Just joking lah!